Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Erica. Today is July 28th, 2021, but this video is timeless because time is an illusion. So whenever the title draws you in is a when you're meant to find it, Scorpios. So I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I feel like you guys are doing pretty damn good at this time, personally, um, within your own self, okay? Work, that kind of stuff, okay? You guys are kind of like, just, I don't know, on fire. But you're dealing with love, okay? Looking for love in all the wrong places. So, you guys, I feel like your person is a little out in the cold, okay? Um, I feel like they have put themselves there for a lot of you, okay? Um, I have some intuitive messages, by the way, you guys, before we get into everything. Um, Scorpios, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, you guys. Promise you, you guys are going to love the reading. <laughs> um, and I would love for you guys to come visit and have fun and hang out more often, okay? So um, do that. And uh, if you guys are interested in honing in on your own current personal situation, I am still taking personal readings. You can find the info below. Just send me an email. We'll get you set up. If you guys can remember to please let me know what time zone you are in. So when we set you up, it's easier. Um, but that's it, you guys. And it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, it's totally fine, you guys. Um, be sure to check all the other signs that you have in your birth chart, okay? It's all very important. It helps tell the whole story of what's happening. Paint an entire picture of what's going on with you, okay? So anyway, so I heard the song by U2. With or without you, with or without you, I can't live with or... Okay, so I feel like you guys are in this like super tumultuous, like lusty, like tug of war with this person, okay? And this person and you both, it's like I can't live with or without you. And it's not that it's like toxicity, it's just that it's like you can't figure your shit out or this person can't, okay? Because then I heard that twist of fate part. <clears throat> something, something, twist of fate or something like that. He says, I don't know, but I heard twist of fate. So I feel like that there's like, you guys, you know, like you watch like a, a suspenseful movie or a thriller and there's always like a crazy ass like plot twist, you know? I feel like this is your guys' love story. There's going to be some kind of plot twist here in the near future. That's the energy I feel. I feel like your person on their side is going through like a tower moment per se. Like their world is kind of crumbling down around them and they don't know what to do. They're just like, but <laughs> help me please. Like literally I feel like for many of them, they don't know what to do. Um, and then I heard skeptical or I wrote skeptical, but coming skeptical, but coming. So we'll see what the cards say you guys, but that's the intuitive message. So if it's a vibing with you so far, if you're connecting it all with the message, my channel, the vibe on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Healing family issues and you deserve love. Okay. So right off of the bat, I'm getting some, cause this says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I think for many of you, the family is like a big issue. Like different backgrounds, different ways of thinking, like they, it's like something with the family, okay? Because I now I'm, I'm feeling very like uh, nervous and I'm hearing conflicted. So I feel like your person and or you put yourself where you belong, cross watcher, whoever's watching this, um, they're feeling conflicted. It says you deserve love. I feel like they have people around them telling them, do what makes you happy. Just do what makes you happy. That's coming through very strong. This person's been shot by Cupid's arrow. You guys have had like a lot of ups and downs for some of you with this, with this connection. Again, I don't feel toxicity. This is not a toxic karmic thing. This is something that's like a very real deal, soulful thing, okay? We got very soon and this could be the one, see? This is like the one. This is like the one that you could marry. This is the one that you could see yourself with forever, okay? Your person feels this. I'm hearing heavily impacted. 
So I do feel like this person's um, opinion or their emo, like their feelings or what they do is very like easily swayed by other people. But I feel like this person is going to start making some moves here because you got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide that what you want so that it comes to you now. I'm seeing the judgment card, the tarot judgment card in my mind. And um, I'm hearing judgment call. A judgment call is going to be made very soon. Okay. Because this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Some of you could be dealing with someone that had extreme, um, they have like issues with their father growing up. Um, I couldn't tell you for what, but if it's for you, you'll know and it'll resonate. But this person is fearful of love and opening up to love for a lot of you because of this connection. Okay. Could be both of their parents, but for some reason, the father thing is coming through very strongly for me. Okay, it could be you, maybe Scorpio, that didn't have a good relationship with your father growing up or some kind of issues at home with a fatherly figure. I don't know, but it's coming through very strong. I'm getting a lot of suspicion here, like there's some kind of trust issues between you and this person. Could be this person, um, but you know, Scorpio, I have, I'm have. I'm a Scorpio Venus, I have Scorpio in my chart. Sorry, hold on one second, guys. I gotta fix my shorts. Sorry. Okay, much better. Um, so I know, you know, when it comes to love, we love deep and we love hard. We give it everything, like a thousand and ten percent, okay? When we fall, we fall hard. But to get us to that point where we really open up it takes a pretty special person. It takes a lot. And we don't trust very easily. We're very skeptical, okay? We're like the look at my hair, you guys. Oh my gosh, such a mess. We're like the um, the Sherlock Holmes of the Zodiacs, you know, Scorpio. Very, very suspicious. So that could have been an issue here. And I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying that's, you know, a very, it's a Scorpio trait where you're very suspicious and not very trusting and you might question someone and it's like afterwards, like, why did I ask that? Like, why did I, you know, why did I assume that? Why did I say that? It's like that energy that I feel. So maybe that's your person that's doing that. But this person is manifesting something very soon, Scorpio. We're at eight minutes. What else for Scorpio, please? What is a person feeling? What are they going to do? Thank you. Separation. Yeah, exactly what I was feeling. This person is going to come in soon. They're manifesting something here. So it's time apart from your partners on the horizon. No, you've been in separation from this person, Scorpio, for most of you. You really haven't talked to this person. It's been very, sorry guys, I'm getting very fidgety. See, I feel nervous. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff happens when you channel, but it's like, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I don't know, but I'm hearing that this, someone here in this connection, not, they really never gave this, like before they never gave this a chance it deserved. Maybe that's why some of you guys are in separation. Someone wasn't opening up. They weren't, get, I don't know. And it's like, no, like I know what I deserve. I feel like this, uh, I feel like you guys were divinely led to each other for many of you. Like your guides, the universe, um, they led this connection together. So let's get into the tarot, see what the tarot has to say. Sorry guys, I know when I get quiet like this and I'm just looking, I'm like channeling. Six of swords and the sun, wow. This person makes you extremely happy. You make this person extremely happy, Scorpio. They, <clears throat> they want to move something forward here, I feel, but they're in this state of confusion. 
they have, but they've learned a lot so far from you or from this connection. Okay. Um, they've learned a lot from, from this connection and they're, it's like they're in this moment of gathering up. Um, it's like a mixture. I feel a mixture of courage and strength, um, thoughts, you know, gathering your thoughts. It's kind of like just really gathering yourself, everything really like, ugh, like gearing yourself up to come in and to open up, say something, do something. You have the sun card. I mean, she's, she's literally rowing right into the fucking sun. Away from the darkness and into the sun. Do you see that, Scorpio? The light in this card, how it connects into this card. And she's going straight towards it. And she's in a swan. She's in a swan boat made of wood. Like swans are soulmates. It's always a soulmate connection for me. So it's like she knows or this person knows that this is a soulmate connection and they want to come towards you and they want to like shine light on something here. They want to shine light on a situation. They want to bring a truth out in the open. But also the sun card is the happiest card in the entire deck. They're, it's like they're slowly moving towards their their what they already know is their happiness like what their happy ending already is they know and they're like slowly now working their way to it very soon here very soon the sun is happiness clarity it's abundance truth it's divine masculine okay it's a lot it's growth and vitality enlightenment how does Scorpio's person feel towards Scorpio? For the Scorpio collective, please. How does their person feel? Please and thank you, spirit. How does Scorpio's person feel? Hmm. Seven of Wands. I'm hearing defensive. In the past, um, there's been someone in the in the connection that like was defensive in ways or something. And someone didn't like that. Clarify the seven of wands. How does Scorpio's person feel? This is someone that typically gets a lot of attention. They have a lot of options, Scorpio. But I feel that, that for a lot of you, this person has issues opening up. They don't like to open up very easily. They block people out. Um... But it's like now they feel like, oh my gosh, like I, I've met someone that I can spend my life with. This person is someone who really like, they keep making the same mistakes <laughs> with people. Um, it's like a pattern that they need to break or something. But I just keep, I, it's like going down the same road. It's like doing the same thing and expecting a different result. And what, what it is, is this person needs to work through something personal within them, okay? Which I feel is what they're doing here. Healing family issues. The sun card is healing for me, okay? The clouds are clearing away and she's, she's headed straight into the happiness, into the sun. Into clarity and truth, right? It's, it's leaving one energy and heading straight into a, a good one, a, a, a different one. This person is someone who gets in their own way a lot. They make the same mistakes with people. You know, whoever you are in this situation, put yourself where you belong. But Can I get one more for the Seven of Wands? This person feels like you might be a little defensive. That could be what is keeping them back a little bit is the fear of like coming in and you Scorpio being like, why are you reaching out to me? Like you had your chance. This person is scared of that. But it's like this energy where they wanna do what's right here. They wanna make something right. Stand up for this and fight for this connection. Yeah, three of cups. They want a reunion here.
for a lot of you, it's been about two, three months since you've seen this person or talked to this person. Okay. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. It's been a while. Okay. I'm feeling that both of you guys are scared that the other one has moved on or that the other one is seeing someone. Both of you are on the defense for a lot of you. You're both on the defense here. What happened in the recent past between Scorpio and their person, please? What happened in the recent past between Scorpio and their person, please? What happened in the recent past? Whoa. Nine of Swords, Hierophant. Scared of commitment. That's what I just heard. Someone's scared of commitment, emotionally immature. Maybe very stubborn, emotionally unavailable. Emotionally immature is what's coming through very strong. someone who can't get out of their head. To me, the Hierophant can be a fatherly figure, and I did mention that. It could be, for many of you, someone who has a lot of, like, it's just issues with their father. What their father is going to say, what their father thinks. Maybe their father abandoned them at a young age. Maybe they didn't grow up with a fatherly figure. There's something here with that for a lot of you, and it's going to resonate. I know it. <laughs> for a lot of you, this person is scared of long-term commitment and marriage. But it's like they know this is something where it can be that. And as soon as they started realizing what this could be, they got scared and ran back into like their hole. That's what's happened in the recent past. That's what I specifically asked for. That's why a lot of you, they're, they're afraid you're going to be defensive. I'm sorry, I think I said nine of swords, I meant eight of swords. This person goes in circles in their head. It's like a, like a prison of the mind. I told you they're, they're kind of like their own worst enemy. What is the next action that Scorpio's person plans to take towards Scorpio? So you told you they're manifesting something here with the magician. They know that they're not going to meet someone like you again. That's what I feel from this. It's a very direct message. You're the whole shebang, the whole package, the whole enchilada. And they know it. You're honest. You're upfront. You're very passionate and loving. For a lot of you, you aren't typically very affectionate and super loving, but with this person, you just gave them everything. Okay. You have a lot of deep emotion, a lot of deep love for this person. And you've been hoping for a long-term commitment with this person. Clarify the magician for their next actions towards Scorpio. The fucking tower, you guys. Did I not say earlier? Did I not say that your person's in a tower? I feel the tower like... There it is. There's a tower coming. What is the tower? The tower is them waking up, manifesting a reunion with you, and coming in to speak some truths and bring some clarity and enlightenment to the situation between you guys. They want to move this forward. Tell me more. What is their next action towards Scorpio? This is resonating. Hit the like button. Thank you guys. It means a lot. It really does. Thank you. And um, I'm just so happy that you guys are here with me. Have fun. All right. I know. Blah, blah. Let's get back to the reading. This person owes you an apology because for many of you, they held back in the past. I'm telling you, this person has commitment issues and or opening up issues. And for a lot of you, they could be younger than you. They could be a younger water sign. Um, another water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This person feels like maybe you owe them an apology, but I don't feel like you do, to be honest. 
I feel like this person owes you an apology. Um, I'm hearing they need to grow a pair. They don't have to be younger, you guys, but it just could be their energy as, as if it's a younger energy that they give off a little immature. I'm feeling all of that. For a lot of you, this person is used to getting their way with people in love and relationships. They're very manipulative. Oh, look, I hit the nail on the head with that one. The star card just popped out with the fool. Didn't I sing earlier? I fooled around and fell in love. Oh no, I was I was looking for love and I forget. I guess I was thinking about it. Maybe I did sing it. I don't know. Sometimes you guys, when I channel, I get like temporary amnesia. No joke. It's really weird. Someone is uh, gearing up to take a leap of faith. They're following their intuition and their soul here is what they're realizing they need to start doing and stop being so controlling. They want to have victory. They want to have victory here. They want to win. They want to win your heart. They want to have victory, but they need to learn to surrender, open up, stop being so controlling. They're a freaking miser. It's like, gimme, 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 but I don't want to give anymore. This person wants to open up though. Yep. Ace of cups. They want to bring a big old cup of love to you. Overflowing abundance in love. Overflowing emotion. Overflowing just love. You could have brown eyes. Your person could have brown eyes. Let's get some messages for you, Scorpio. I see you everywhere. Everything reminds me of you. Oh, I feel that Scorpio. For me, for me personally, just my humble opinion, the magician can give off sometimes an energy of obsessiveness. I feel like this person is low key obsessed and they try to play it cool, but they are low key obsessed. And I do get a manipulation out of here too. Magician manipulates energy, bends things to his will. He manifests what he wants into his reality. That's what that person is trying to do. But I feel like Scorpio, you know, you're real deep. You're very intuitive. A lot of you are highly psychic. Things of that nature. They can't pull one over on you. Let's just say that. For Scorpio, please, 22 minutes. I know I care too much about what people say. I fucking told you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I told you, I told you. I, I felt it, you guys. This person, it was like inside, I felt it. What else for Scorpio, please? And thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I don't want anyone else to have you. Didn't I just get done saying how, in my opinion, because I read energy, not cards, you guys. It's like a clairvoyant. I read energy. All this, all the things. I felt that off him. Obsessiveness. And I was like, this person plays it cool, but they are low-key. They're obsessed. Why? Because you had the star card come out, by the way, and I totally skipped over that. You have the sun and the star, a wish fulfillment, a dream come true, something destined and fated. It's a wish come true. It's also manifesting. Okay, this it's a, a manifestation card. I'll wait for you. Have you guys heard that song? It's a country song. Uh, I can't think of Cody Johnson. I think. That on my way to you, on my way to you. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful song. You guys gotta listen to it. I think it's Cody Johnson, On My Way to You. It's gorgeous. I think it'll resonate. I see us having a family. See, this person does. They want to, like, they see marriage, long term commitment, kids, a yard, dog, the whole thing. Sorry, guys. It's my magic deck. I made it. I can lick my thumb if I want to. I dream of holding you once more. Oh, I told you. This person is hurting. They are, Scorpio. If you think that your person is not hurting, you're wrong. So much to tell you. 
There's Divine Feminine. Okay. Broken Promises. Hmm. For a lot of you, they did break promises. For me, the energy I'm getting off of Broken Promises, though, is like they know that with you, they will never have to endure broken promises. That's what I feel. They feel like this is the one, the real deal. Yes. Yep. I feel it, Scorpio. I feel it. One more. Oh my gosh. I love the way you feel. Oh, amor. You're perfect for me. Yeah, they know it. One more, one more. I knew what I wanted all along. Can you believe that? Really? And you know what, you guys? They have. They did. I'm ready to be everything you need. See, for a lot of you, this person has fears. Stuff. They want to be everything that you need. Let's get a whispers of love before we go. Spending quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. That This is what this person wants. This is what they're trying to manifest. This is their end goal here. Is to just be with you. To just be in union with you and, and have a reunion. And what did I say, you guys? And darling, darling. Okay, so I love you. These are powerful words. person wants to tell you they love you they dream about you i feel like you dream about them you have dreams of each other you guys could be meeting up in your dreams you guys talked about having children a lot of you like you talked about like what your kids would look like like it was like a thing like you guys, you know like you guys it was a thing you guys talked about a lot of you you had that conversation You have this person's heart, Scorpio. That's what I feel. They're being guided. I feel like they're being guided, okay? The universe has intervened here. <laughs> the universe is crashing down on them. It's pushing them towards you. And they want this. They do. They know it. They know it. So, wow. All right, my Scorps. I am sending you guys love and light. Thank you so much. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to be doing you guys this August overall for the month over the weekend. So uh, come back, watch that, and check the other signs in your chart. I will see you soon. Bye, guys.